In order to be completely human, do we need to be raised by humans? Are we just a product of nature or nurture? These kids went through some extraordinary experiences which might make them just a little bit wild. From the Indian wolf boy to the Nigerian chimp boy, here are nine kids who were raised by animals. But first, thanks Yoram for leaving us this comment on our Strangest Things Found at Homes video. We're glad you enjoyed it. Leave us your insight on some of these mysterious feral children and maybe we'll feature you in an upcoming video. Number 9. Victor of Aveyron In one case in France, the child Victor of Aveyron lived most his life in the wild with wolves and reportedly seemed to have immunity to cold. When young minds are beginning to develop, if they don't learn a language soon enough and aren't exposed to it, they may never be able to obtain basic verbal communication skills. This appeared to be the case for Victor, who was found at the age of 12. The mysterious boy was spotted by hunters in 1788, but he was unable to run away quite quickly enough and ran up a tree. They were able to track him down eventually. There are many disputes on his origins. Some believe that he was the illegitimate son of a nobleman. With this being the age of the Enlightenment in France, he almost seemed like the perfect test subject for revolutionary philosophies. The kid was sent to a prestigious school in Paris to see if they could tame the wild boy, but with very little success. They wanted to teach him French, but his mind simply wouldn't allow it. During the times of colonialism, some researchers compared Victor's case to being similar to assimilating natives of faraway lands. Others simply disagree and believe it's because he had a learning disability and it might have been why he was abandoned in the first place. Anyways, it's a case that's still examined by psychologists to this day and it's an early documented case of a kid being raised by animals. Romulus and Ramus the origins of the beginning of Rome seem to be shrouded in mystery, but it seems to be well documented that Romulus and Ramus are the founders of this great ancient city. It's commonly portrayed in artwork and was a divine tale to how the empire began. It's difficult to tell how much of this story is true and how much of it is mythology. The story goes that Romulus and Ramus were twin brothers that were born in 750 BC at Alba Longa, near the future site of Rome. They were the sons of a daughter of the former king, Numitar, and the current king here ordered them to be left on the banks of the Tiber River because he saw them as a threat to his power on the throne. As the story goes, the brothers were actually raised by wolves and managed to survive the whole ordeal. This is why you see many statues of them in Rome, sucking on the teeth of what's known as the Capitoline Wolf. Although the whole part about the founders of Rome being cared for by a she-wolf might sound a little bit crazy, many scholars still debate if there's any truth behind this mysterious legend. As we're about to see in this video, it might be a little bit more truthful than we once thought. Romulus ended up killing his brother Ramus after disputes and insults about where the city should be built. Romulus named the city after himself and the foundations for a great empire were set. A well-respected archaeologist, Andrea Caradini, still believes that Romulus and Ramus are indeed historical figures, while others believe they're only legend. Number 7. Dina Sanichar Spending just one year in the wild seems like it would have a lasting impact on anyone who can handle isolation and the lack of technology. But imagine going six years in the wild all by yourself as a child. Also known as the Indian Wolf Boy, Dina was living in a wolf's cave when he was found in 1867. When he was about six years old, he ran away from an orphanage and was found exhibiting all signs of acting like an animal. He walked on all fours and ate raw meat off the ground. He then spent several years at a mission where they tried to civilize him, but with no avail. Once you go feral, you just don't normally seem to go back. Dina never learned to speak throughout his life and seemed to prefer eating raw meat. His other hobbies included gnawing on bones and growling like an animal. This feral child inspired some characters in famous books such as Mowgli in the Jungle Book. Number 6. Bello. A mentally disabled and somewhat physically disabled child was left abandoned in a forest by his parents at the age of six months. Unfortunately, there's a practice of doing this to children in Nigeria when they are deemed mentally disabled, but sometimes they survive. Luckily for Bello, chimpanzees of the Nigerian forest helped him live on and he was taken care of by wild animals. He managed to live six years with the chimps and they treated him as one of their own. Finally, Bello made contact with other people, but he was clearly affected by this entire event. He didn't walk like everyone else, in fact he walked much like an ape as well. Much of his personality was very ape-like and he would get into tantrums with other kids at school, throwing things and hurting people. At the age of 12, Bella was finally able to calm down but would still act similar to those who raised him. 
At this point, do you think it would be best for Bello to continue living with a family that care for him? Or should he be forced into civilization with people who he's unable to communicate with? Number 5. John of Liege One of the first English written accounts was in 1644 of a child being raised in the wild. His name was John of Liege, who spent most of his time living in the forests of Belgium in complete isolation. John and his family had fled to the forest during the time of a religious war, but during this time, his parents lost him. The family had escaped the danger and made it back to their village, but John had just simply disappeared. He was also too scared to stop hiding and didn't come out for a while. He survived for 16 years on fruits, roots, and berries in the forest and became quite the survivalist. At the age of 21, a farmer finally found him trying to steal food from their farm. He was reportedly completely nude, but covered in hair that had seemingly never been trimmed. He had lost all concepts of language and actually developed an astonishing sense of smell that many considered to be dog-like in a way, sniffing out food from long distances. He was eventually able to relearn language once he was reintroduced into society, but his superpowers dulled upon arriving to the city. It makes you wonder, if humans remained as wild creatures who survived in such a manner, what kind of transformation would happen to our bodies? Number 4. Peter the Wild Boy It's a little bit absurd to believe that a feral child would end up becoming the source of amusement for a royal court, but that was the case for Peter the Wild Boy. In 1725, a child who couldn't speak was found living in the forest. Peter behaved as if he was raised by wolves. Of course, he couldn't tell anyone what happened to him exactly since he was mute, but we'll assume he was raised by animals. He was brought to the King of England, George I, as a possible jester candidate. George began to like the kid and his behavior was quite amusing to everyone. The nobles were fascinated by his wild side and he would even be seen trying to pickpocket people or trying to kiss women of the court. Any attempt to civilize Peter the Wild Boy failed and he remained mute the rest of his life. Once he began to get older, they decided to send him to the countryside. To this day, no one knows why he was abandoned in the forest, and some even believe that he may have had a neurological disease. Number 3. The Romanian Dog Boy A young boy from Romania, Trajan Calderer, seemed to live with animals for over three years. His mother had an abusive partner which ultimately led to his poor supervision. Before she knew it, the four-year-old kid wandered off and was completely lost. The mother had lost hope of ever finding her kid, but three years later, the boy was found sleeping on a cardboard box. The boy had developed severe complications such as rickets and frostbite. He was found next to the body of a stray dog that he had apparently been eating. It's believed that the dogs did help him survive somehow, however. Experts don't believe he could have survived without the help of an animal. Trayan eventually made a full recovery from his wounds, but it would take some time for him to become a normal kid. Somehow, he was able to remember some basic words like mom, but that was it. The Romanian dog boy would snarl at people like a dog if they got too close to his food, and he didn't even know what fruit was, acting like it was inedible. Number 2. The Cambodian Jungle Girl this jungle girl was lost in the Cambodian jungle for 18 years and was found extremely frightened in 2007. Her family and friends believed she was dead until she was discovered standing naked by lumberjacks. Before she was found, there were urban legends about a long-haired man similar to Tarzan, but he was never found. She also suffered from some deep scars wrapped around her wrist, suggesting that she was possibly bound for a long period of time. When she was found also not being able to utter a word in any language or use utensils, people had realized how serious this case was. Recently, people in Vietnam claimed this to be a woman named Tuck who disappeared in 2006 after a mental breakdown. The father apparently recognized her from a scar on her lip, but it's still a mystery who this exactly is. Number 1. Oksana Malaya Possibly the most severe case of someone being raised by dogs recently takes place in the country of Ukraine in Eastern Europe. Her parents were alcoholics and they left her outside one night. Seeking warmth, she curled up next to a dog inside a kennel who most likely saved her life. She was ultimately neglected by her parents and then she eventually just ended up moving in with the dogs. Dogs who she slept with seemed to be raising her more than her parents, and it would have an unbelievable effect on her. She learned to imitate the movements of the dogs with unbelievable precision. Even the barking noises she lets off would lead you to believe she's part animal. Oksana has also been the subject of many documentaries, so we recommend you check out a few of those. This photo here shows Oksana with a branch in her mouth, and it makes you wonder what exactly makes us human. Her bond with the dogs became so intense that she resisted any help when authorities came to help her. Some sources claim that she's learned to speak just fine, but growling and barking seems to come more naturally to her. 
So did you find that to be creepy? Let us know in the comment section and maybe we'll feature you in an upcoming video.